Welcome to Lobby Luxury Cars. I'm Sreko Lorbeck. Well, on this Friday's drive, we're coming to you from our Lorbeck Paddock Club Cafe at our showroom in Port Melbourne. We are going to have an interview with a very special guest, part of Australian motorsport royalty and grandson of legendary Sir Jack Brabham, Sam Brabham. Welcome, okay. Sam. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. Cheers. We met you at the Grand Prix. We had some great time together there. We did. It was a fantastic Grand Prix coming out of COVID and it's great to connect and we thank you for coming yeah, down here exactly. today. So firstly, why motor racing? Well, it's in the blood, I guess. <laughs> well, it's like asking is the Pope a Catholic, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Now for me, I obviously I grew up around it with my dad and my granddad and actually on my mum's side, she raced as well when she was younger oh, too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, just growing up around it, I went karting with some mates and thought, oh, this is pretty fun and bugged my dad for a while to, to finally get me in a go-kart and, um, and that, the rest is history. And my dad never forced me into racing. It was very much had to be my decision. Well, you could have thought that could have been the case. But yeah, I could have been one of those kids in a go-kart from the age of three years old, but I wasn't. I just wanted to play football, to be honest with you, um, <laughs> or soccer, as they call it. And once I got into it, I just loved every moment. And um, there was no going back. And then I started getting into you know, the history of the sport and obviously what my dad was doing at the time as well. And yes. I just loved it. What's your career highlight so far? There's a few highlights. Um, Certainly my first win in Formula Ford was a massive moment. And when was that? I would have been 2014. 2014 okay. British Formula Ford um, at Thruxton, which is a super fast circuit. So yes. to get a first win around a place like that was pretty awesome. I um, also did the development for Honda on their IndyCar program on the simulator. So yes. sort of Formula One style simulators that develop the race car. So I used to work closely with the, the drivers in America to sort of develop that, which yes. was um, a really, really cool experience. Yes. Um, and a smattering of other other things. We could be here all day, but... <laughs> okay, so what did you drive last weekend? Uh, I was actually driving a Mercedes-Benz AMG GT4 car uh, at Bathurst of okay. all places. As you do every, on a weekend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, which was an unbelievable experience. I've never driven Bathurst either. People build it up, it's the mountain, it's all this other stuff. And um, So that's your first time at Bathurst? Wow. Yeah, I've, I've been before, but I've yes. never driven around it okay. properly. Um, yes. I had the privilege of driving other stuff there, but... Not in anger, shall we say. Um, <laughs> in anger, I like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's the best race car you've driven so far? The best race car I've driven would be my granddad's 1966 championship winning car, the BT-19. Wow. Yeah. Tell us more. Well, so Repco actually built the engine to the car originally uh, 1965. Um, when the car was made and then they raced in 66 and obviously won the world championship and the, instru the constructors championship as well yes and um repco basically got in contact with me they now own the car they've had it for uh, a number of years since yes. sort of 70s 80s yes i've seen it once on display yeah it's beautiful yeah. and it's one of one there's no there's no spare parts there's no there's nothing like, That's they it. only built one for the year and yeah. denny holm who was racing with jack in the same year he actually drove the, the previous year's car so there's only one ever made yeah. and it's this one. So I got to drive it at Bathurst um, in Sydney and also the Adelaide 500 a few years ago as well, which, I mean, every time I drive it, it's yeah. such a privilege. Um, yeah. I almost get emotional when I well, get Well, I, I can see that. That would be an honor to be able to drive your granddad's car that he basically built yeah. and raced and won the world championship in. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. I mean, what they achieved will never be done yeah. again, you know, yeah. and, and hasn't been done since. No. So it's a special place in motorsport history, but you know, yeah. what, what they achieved and they beat the likes of Ferrari and Lotus and all these other massive, yes. massive brands and manufacturers and a you know, little team from Australia and the yeah. Australian engine came in yeah. and beat the world really. Yeah, well, to think it's um, one man put all that together and he's an Aussie. That yeah, is it's really, cool. really special and very, very cool. Okay, so what car would you like to drive most? That is so tough. I'd I would love to drive a 250 GTO Ferrari. Oh. Just the history of it. It's <laughs> you know I've have seen so many of them. Into yeah. Goodwood yeah. Revival and seen yeah. ten of them flat out and sideways yeah. around a racetrack. Yes. Just the chance to just experience what that would be like would be pretty amazing yeah so i've seen him at goodwood and certainly i've heard him go up the hill and it's a, a yeah. pretty amazing but to Absolutely. be able to drive something and look at the technology at the time which was the forefront of technology yeah. then if you relate back which is antiquated today but to be able to have that sort of car and drive that uh, and see what enzo ferrari did there with his team is pretty special yeah, and amazing. Absolutely. is this the dream job yeah yeah i would say so uh, it comes with obviously a lot of trials and tribulations and ups and downs as I think anything in life but the opportunity that I've had to be able to go and do what I do and the hard work that I've put in um, as all of us do to try and achieve what we want to achieve. Yeah. Um, the stuff in the background 
can't go unnoticed, but the reward of winning and performing at the highest level and achieving what I want to do. And obviously driving race cars for me is just the most fun I can have in the world. So the fact that I get a chance to do that is pretty awesome. And all the hard work and energy and effort to get to your dream, uh, people don't see, but the rewards are certainly there. And in life, you can't go wrong doing what you love doing. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. What do you remember most about your granddad, about Sir Jack Brabham? He was a man of very few words, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it was interesting, the last chance I got to see him was um, actually at his birthday and we all flew over and he got a new hearing aid so he actually hear properly because obviously spending so much time in yeah. loud race cars, they didn't have earplugs and helmets like this to, to be able to the use The damage to stop that the, may exactly. have been done, nobody really can quantify. No, exactly. So I was able to have a really good chat about my, I was racing at the time so I was talking about him about my racing and some of the advice that he gave me was interesting to say the least it's something that i probably didn't appreciate at the time to be honest yeah. with you and i look back now and go she was right but funny that it was a three-time world championship so he must have known what he was talking yes. about yes. well i was at his 80th birthday and it was a fantastic night and mark yeah. weber was there and it was a great interview and he was talking about winning some of the grand prix and winning yeah. cases of champagne <laughs> instead of money and carrying that champagne with him to to uk from france and yeah. giving that champagne away in lieu of staying at homes or at uh, what we call a bed and breakfast, I yeah. suppose, and to some of the teams, the mechanics, to pay for them to do the works on the car, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it was paid by champagne. So it was a very interesting night. And of course, on that night, we were very fortunate on our table was a steering wheel, which is yeah. a replica of the car that he drove, the, yeah. the, the race car. And he very kindly signed it. So we've got his signature on that so steering cool. wheel there in our cafe, and uh, it's a very special. A lot of people will have a coffee here and go and have a look and comment yeah. on it. So, Who's that? I'll say, well, that's, oh, by the way. <laughs> that's our good Australian friend, Sir Jack Brabham. That's awesome. That was fantastic. That's so cool. Yeah, it was really good. So it was a very great night. I have fond memories of meeting him. And um, you're right, winners at the table's not many few words. And even when he was interviewed, he took a fair while to work out his answers, but his yeah. answers were very precise and Always. very direct to the question, which is obviously his driving skills as yeah. well. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, so thanks for coming today. Now, we've My got pleasure. one final last question. Yeah. Have you watched our Friday drives on our YouTube channel? Yeah, I have been. And what do you think? I think they're really good. It's okay. interesting. We've been talking amongst the team here and we were wondering whether you'd like to join our Friday drive team. We'd love you to participate. We've got some exciting things, especially with the opening of, uh, of our new Sydney showroom and up and coming events. We thought you'd be the perfect person to join us and have yeah. a lot of fun. Are you serious? Yeah, we'd love you to join <laughs> our Lawbeck Friday drive I'd team. I'd love to, that'd be awesome. Fantastic, all right, we appreciate that. Yes. Thank you very much, Sam. Well, in that Cheers. case, we better get you the gear. Absolutely. Fantastic. <laughs> Lorbeck Friday Drive. Okay, so now you're part of the Lorbeck Drive team. Yep. The Lorbeck Hot Laps. Ten quick questions we want you to answer. Yep. Holden or Ford? Ford. Lamborghini or Ferrari? Ferrari, of course. Absolutely, we agree. Favourite German car? Mercedes-Benz. Oh, Mercedes-Benz, absolutely. Has to be. <laughs> Best tyre brand? Michelin. Favourite racetrack? Bathurst, now that I've raced it. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've raced it, well, you've got an achievement over most of us. How do you have your coffee? Uh, Piccolo. Okay, we need to know that so when you're yeah, here to have your exactly. coffee's ready. Android or Apple? Apple. Apple, fastest top speed. I have no idea, because <laughs> I'm not looking, when I'm going down the end of a straight about to turn into a corner. <laughs> That's the right answer. Most expensive car driven. I would have to be the BT19, the Brabham. Oh, okay. One, one of one. One of one and a family car. Your daily driver? I've got a Ford Fiesta ST, oh, okay. which is why I said Ford or Holden, it was Ford. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and how long have you had that? A year. And do you zip through the traffic like a racing car driver? No, no I drive really boring on the road. Exactly. <laughs> and that's always the case. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. Hey, before you go, we'll get yep. you to sign our Lorbeck wall. Let's do it. Okay, so come on over here. We'll get you to pick uh, the favourite spot that you like. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, to fit in, there you go. Thank you very much. Who have we got here? We've got Alan Moffat. Yeah, we Alan Moffat. Weber. Yep. Sir Mark Jackie Weber, Stewart Sir up Jackie on the top Stewart. there. Yep. Wow. And Daniel Ricardo. Danny Rick, number three. Yep. Amazing. Perfect. And mate, just anywhere there. Anywhere that'd be here. Fantastic. There we go. So there you go. On the wall. Our Lorbeck Wall of Fame. 
He's signed by Sam Brabham. Thank you, mate. Thank you Appreciate much. it. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay, so now you're part of the team. The first car we're going to get you to test drive is our new Ferrari F8. We only took delivery of it two weeks ago and we've had it up in Sydney for the National Ferrari Rally and it's just yep. come back. So that'll be the first car we'll get you to test drive. That'll be amazing. Some other exciting cars coming along the way, including the very special only car to arrive in Australia, which we are receiving next year. It's just getting built now. It's a wow. little bit of a secret, but uh, it'll be very special. And we'll be announcing it uh, when the prototype arrives in a couple of weeks' time. So wow. that'll be great. I can't wait. Fantastic. Good on you. Thanks, Sam. Sounds good. So I hope you've enjoyed this Friday's drive. And as always, we'll see you next week.